This work is entitled Bringing Machine Learning Closer to Non-Experts, a proposal of a user-friendly machine learning tool in the healthcare domain. The application of machine learning algorithms has become a powerful tool and resource to solve complex tasks in a lot of different fields. However, although powerful, the application of machine learning is not trivial. The selection of a suitable algorithm and the configuration of its parameters needs a deep analysis of the problem to solve as well as quality data. One of the domains that is taking advantage of the application of machine learning in its workflows is the healthcare sector. In this context, a huge number of complex tasks are involved, including diagnosis, classification, disease detection, etc. While physicians have enormous domain knowledge, they could lack these skills and thus need to rely on experts to apply machine learning to their data. In this work, we present a machine learning platform proposal that has the goal of providing intuitive and educational interfaces to ease the interpretation and understanding of machine learning workflows applied to the medical domain. We followed a user-centered design approach to capture relevant requirements and necessities from potential user profiles that could be involved in this context. So, for the requirements elicitation, we interviewed potential users of the application, including physicians, AI experts and managers. Through this process, we ended up with the description of the system's main functional blocks, which includes machine learning pipelines definition, machine learning algorithms training, results interpretation and visualization, data validation, and recommendation heuristics management. Identifying user roles is also crucial because it allows the adaptability of the platform depending on the end user's skills, knowledge and privileges. So the following user roles were identified. First, physicians, which are users that have knowledge regarding the data domain. They are interested in AI and machine learning, but they don't have enough skills to create pipelines programmatically. And then we have the IA experts, experts that can also use the platform to build their own pipelines in a straightforward manner. But they will also have privileges to tune their heuristics based on their knowledge. So this is the architecture proposal for our platform. First, we have the identified roles, which will be the ones using the web services. The web service provides a interface for these roles to interact with the different machine learning algorithms. Then the backend will be in charge of processing all these requests and to create the different pipelines programmatically. The main functional blocks will be user management, which will be in charge of providing those role management and all the privileges the heuristic management, which will be in charge of all the recommendations of the system, and the pipeline management, which is the main block and will be in charge of executing and saving all the pipelines within the platform. Then we have the task management block which will be in charge of providing the individual task that every pipeline will have. Finally, all the information regarding users, heuristics, pipelines or tasks will be saved into a database in order to retrieve and to store all the data related to the platform. So we created a prototype in order to test the different features of the platform. First, we will have a landing page in which the goals of the platform are explained to the users. Once a user has logged in into the platform, he will be shown different features 
like creating a new project, uploading an existing project, or continue creating pipelines within existing projects. To create a pipeline, the user just needs to drag and drop the different tasks and to join them using links. Then, to execute the tasks within the pipeline, the user just needs to click the play button. Then, the different results associated to the different tasks will be accessible. So, as a conclusion, although there are commercial tools that tackle the automation of these processes, the specific requirements that arise from the medical context ask for a customized platform. Developing a customized tool instead of using an existing tool has its drawbacks, such as longer development processes. However, the benefits derived from the customization of the tool makes this approach suitable for this context. So we have conducted also a focus group to test and validate the prototype as well as to identify new requirements. The feedback was positive and very useful, providing the necessary information to start the implementation of the tool. But this is out of the scope of this work. Future research line will involve the validation of the first version of the platform as well as in-depth user tests to measure usability, ease of use and effectiveness of the tool. Thank you very much.